And how can we forget about the infamous rock throw when Krillin threw the rock at Goku thinking that he was about to obliterate that shit? <laughs> Yo, sometimes I'm afraid of Goku. Like, there were times where, okay, the time where he turned Super Saiyan for the first time, like when he was yelling at Gohan to get the hell up out of here, I was like, yo, I, I, I want a piece of you, man. <laughs> like, I was too afraid to see that one episode because Goku was yelling, and I was a kid that time. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense. How would you like it if just you were talking to your own father and then just out of nowhere, like not even because he's mad at you or anything, just starts yelling everything? You want to know a funny story about that? Oh, oh. I'm not afraid to say this on camera because, well, it's kind of hilarious to me when you think about it. So we were having like a get together or party or whatever. A lot of kids were came, come up to my room. It was an attic. It was a cool attic anyway, you know, where I was, you know, watching my Blues Clues, my Rugrats, VHS tapes, and I Bruh. still got those fucking tapes and they're still good. <laughs> they're in my closet right now. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, um, okay, so we were having, you know, a get together. Uh, kids were coming in my room. My father had a stash, a collection of Hot Wheels. Like, he was collecting Hot Wheels. And, uh, yeah, the, pe the, the kids, they were opening the Hot Wheels, and I was a fucking kid, so I wouldn't understand. The thing about this is, he hit him in my room. Which he could have just hit him Why? in his freaking closet uh, or something. Well, here's here's the thing. I have to go to my parents' room to get to my room. Yeah, it was literally the attic, technically. Hey. Well, it had its own stairs, but I, I usually call the attic. But you know, I would have to walk in my parents' room to get to my room. I kind of have a feeling about this already ends. Mm. Yeah. So the next day or days later, I don't know when he fucking came up to see his collection being opened and shit but i woke up probably like a few hours later because i was just hanging out in my room just doing things i was seeing my father and my girl mandy rose is on tv hey girl ah! anyway so so my uh my father went and see his shit open he didn't say anything he didn't look at me he didn't say anything he was just quiet just went downstairs oh. Oh. <laughs> the man just came up with a belt and start fucking whipping my ass what the fuck? damn are you serious <laughs> i always get on him with that shit <laughs> i didn't do anything <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> I always get on him when it comes to that shit, and he was like, nah, man. Nah, man, you had to pay the price. D you did what you did. Uh, I didn't do shit. You got to pay. You got to pay. That's all you got to do. <laughs> man, it was like, move your hand. Move your hand. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <sighs> I love my dad, but Jesus Christ, man, that was what one of the most retarded. That was the most retarded moment that I've ever had in my entire life. That has got to be the most funniest shit that I've ever had to do in my entire life. Mm. Yeah. If something, if something like that happened to me, my parents would just be like, uh, I don't know. It's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, if I did something like if I did something like that, I would either be pinned to the ground or thrown through a window. Okay, pinned to the ground. That's a uh, kind of suspect, but you know. Uh, I mean, I haven't done anything. I mean, nothing that stupid has happened to me yet, so I'm just speculating. Mm -hmm. Jesus, man. Yeah.